So now we're going to concentrate on the bottom of this candle holder, this piece here. And I'm going to get a brush. Get my fan brush. And I'm going to go into this and crimson. And a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue, but mainly lizard and crimson. Um, I'll, I'll do it a little bit lighter so you can see it. But basically, in the middle here, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little round piece. Hope you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Just a little round piece. I will highlight it a bit so you can see it in a minute. But all I've done is I've just got the brush, probably the width for the brush, in the middle, pulled it one side, side down and around. A bit like we did with a knife where you just go down and around. Okay? And then I'm just gonna make it into a, a point. I've done around and that, and I've just made this into a point. So basically, the point is about probably that wide in the middle here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And again, we can highlight that with. I've, I've got two fan brushes that's got the. Uh, yellow and white mix and again we can just touch that at the sides and pull it around so you can see that part there okay <clears throat> so hopefully you're getting along with this nicely it's not too difficult and I'm not going too fast for you so the next thing we're going to do is put down the base around here so obviously we're going to come down with this piece of the candle holder down into probably the bowl here okay so we're going to get if that's the middle there we, we're going to have a bowl that's going to come round here this sort of thing around like that I think because uh, it's going to come down then we're going to have a handle here so I'm going to use a one inch brush and using the same mixture that we've been using, which is the red lizard and crimson, one side and the other side, I'm going to do the same technique as what we did up there, just basically an elongated circle. So all I'm going to do is from here is I'm working out where it's going to be. If that's going to be in the middle, it's going to be the back. So what I'm going to do. It's just going to pull us round that way and this way. So again, I'm looking at the shape. So basically, around this way and this way. I'm just going to fill that in. So I'm looking at that shape. It's probably twice as wide as what that is. I'll get some more material. And then once I highlight this, you'll probably see it a bit more, hopefully. So I've come round. There's my top lip. And then I've come down. There's my bottom lip. Hope that makes sense. And then here I just filled in. Now, once I've got that shape here, I'll get some more material so you can see, hopefully. Here I'm just going to pull down and in from the top, in, down and into the middle. Now hopefully when I do that you can see that that is forming a ridge at the back. So hopefully you can see that. Once I put some highlights in you'll understand it more. Um, and then this would just run 
this way. Okay, so basically you would only see this sort of shape from the front. It's more the back that we're worried about that this has got to sit inside of there, which we want that dark. So I've got that shape. I'm quite happy with that shape. Like that. Okay. So what I will do now is I'll get my brush and I'll go into the red, into some red, and I'll pull that in and down, in and down. So hopefully you can see now that the shape uh, is forming around the back side of that lip. And this would be the front. Now, to define this front edge piece here, I'll use my fan brush again with the yellow and white on. And then I would just touch so you get the idea of where the front is. So we go like this. This is going to be our front edge. So this is going to come around the back here. This sort of thing. Get an idea of that. Is our front edge. Okay. And then again, we'll highlight this in a minute. Um, and a bit around there, but it's just I'll put this on this so you can see what's happening. And again, you know, with this brush, you can pull down to give it some more highlights. I'm trying to do mine a bit dark, a, a bit lighter, so you can see more on the video of what. I'm doing, but yours wouldn't need to be so dark, uh, so light as this, but basically I'm just pulling down to give it some highlights to make it stand. Just giving this an edge. And what I'm going to do under here, I will get, I've got another fan brush, my other fan brush, I'll go into some blue and just a touch of white and a fan brush going to some blue and just a touch of light and I'm just going to pull this under here see that hopefully now that little tiny little lightness under there is giving it so it looks like it's a sort of rounded piece at the bottom so now we've done that we can now add this piece into here and I'm going to use the fan brush the light mix so I'm going to go into again I want to get some more so I'll go into some white and a bit of the old Cad yellow, white, cad yellow, and I'll put a little bit of the lizard and crimson in there as well, just to tone it down a little bit. And then I'm just going to start from here and pull it down to there. So all I'm going to do is start on this piece here, pull it down and into the middle of a bowl and then this side, from this side, come down into the middle 
of our bowl. Like that, and I'm just going to pull down. With this, so it comes down here. Again, you're going to have a, it sit inside of this. Obviously, I'm at a slight angle, so that might not be perfectly straight in the middle of my bowl, but you've got a bit more time because you're staying over there. But it's not bad, I'm quite happy. So I just took it inwards, then out. So it's in and out. And then down the bottom there, I will add some dark. So I'll go into some blue and some lizard and crimson to stick some more darks in there down here. So I went dark down the bottom here. Swish around this base bit here. So I'm just adding darks in. And it's base. Okay. Lovely. Okay, and they can also look, you know, all the time I'm looking to see where we can highlight it up a bit more. Now we've got that in there, we can see if we want to add some more highlights, and I'm going to use the one inch brush. So I'm going to go into a little bit of yellow, a bit of red. And I'm, going, I'm just going to stick a few more highlights coming in. Okay, you can do some of this side. Just to really sort of make it stand out. I might do a bit more around the front here because uh, it looks like I've lost some of the bits around, around there. And also I'm going to add just a bit more of a, a, a yellow on this side here. So on this bit here I'm just going to add a little bit more yellow just to really make that stand out down that side there. And I'm going to add a bit more on here. So this stands out a bit more, this lip stands out a bit more, hopefully that lip stands out a bit more. put a handle on here so I'm going to use a handle I'm going to use a filbert brush Okay, so now I'm going to put the handle on, uh, I'm going to use a, a filbert brush and all I want to do is I'm going to come from here and down and put it on the side. So again, I'm going to use the same mix that's got cad yellow, a little bit of white and a little bit of this alizarin crimson mix in it. Just basically you're just going to come up, round, up and round down to here. So I'm going to come up and down into it like that. Looks a bit, looks a little bit light. So I'm just going to darken it down, go into a little bit of alizarin crimson and go over it. Just to dull it just a bit. Well, 
drains into the side there. Something like that. Okay, and then once we've got that on there, we can highlight a few bits and pieces. So, <coughs> with a liner brush, with a liner brush, a little bit thinner, a bit of yellow, and a little bit of the white. Put a few little bits just where the light is going to touch. Down here, the light might touch a bit up there. I'll put a little bit round the here. Look at the light. I'll get on that back edge part there, and I'm going to put another bit around here. I think the light. that edge there. A little bit round there, I think it might catch that edge there. And I'm going to do a little bit thinner. Going to some more of the white. And again, I'm going to put a bit more down here. And I think a lot might catch a bit there. down this side. In here I might put a little bit of the actual melted candle wax inside there and again you can do that by getting a lot on there and just dropping it down flat. I've got a little bit of wax it's just fallen it's just sitting inside your bowl there. So, I'm going to add a little, the wick, inside of that, by using my liner brush, just clean my liner brush, and I'm just going to get a little bit of the alizarin crimson and blue mix. And I'm just going to, just a touch, just put it inside that bit there, just inside of the flame. Okay, so that said, um, I can add a bit of dark. Again, you know, you've got a lot of time. Add a little bit of dark in here. A few places to add darks. I'm going to make sure that down this bit down here is dark. I want this dark around here because this creates the depth. So it's dark around this bit here. So with that said, it's Mark Tell with Paint with Mark. Um, we have a finished painting. If you do like these videos and you want to see more please subscribe and like and share these with as many people as possible and I'll, I'll keep doing them for you so with that said I'll see you in the next video